Did you know that there is a way to remove the pattern or password from your device without touching it? Well, today we are going to explain step by step what we are going to do and how we are going to be able to erase that pattern and that password without having to touch the device. What are we going to do? Well, in this video tutorial we will explain step by step how to do it. As you know that on our phone sometimes we forget what that pattern is. That password we forget or suddenly this method also works for those people who have suddenly lost their device and have important information, but at the moment they do not have that phone because they lost it. Well today I am going to explain this method to you. So that you can delete all that information, how are we going to do it, well. Let's watch the video tutorial step by step until the end so that you don't miss any of these details. I also want to tell you that we have other methods also in the description of the video and in the first pinned comment we have a method as well, also. Uh, additional methods I also want to tell you that we have the members community session exclusively for those people who are uh, subscribed to our community you will have advanced videos like this even much better videos and you will be able to see them exclusively that would be the benefit we will also be attentive to any comments any questions so uh don't forget uh to subscribe to our community well that said how are we going to be able to uh delete delete uh the screen lock from our devices if we are not going to touch it, we are not going to touch our phone, well uh. The first thing we are going to do is watch the video tutorial. Step by step without fast forwarding it and let's do the following. Well let's start then what we have to do is have another. Device to be able to erase what this screen lock is from our phone. We are going to erase this lock without having to touch it. That yes it is really, what are we going to do, well. We are going to use another device, we are going to use another device and what are we going to do here. We have to have the same email. This email that is here on this other phone. So the two emails have to be on both phones. In order to do this process we need another device with the same email. As we had said, we are not going to touch this device, we are not going to touch it at all. What are we going to do then, go. We are going to enter the same email that we have on the second phone. After having done that we are going to write here. We are going to write find device, find. My device find my device here. We will be able to find it as we can see let's. Go let's install it here well let's hide this for a moment all. Explain what we're going to do ready after it's installed. EH find my device this is an application that you will be able to. Find from Google you will not have any complications that application. Will always be there. EH anyway I'm going to leave a link in the description of direct access for those people who suddenly cannot get it they will click on the link in the description and it will take you to the download. We will click here on open, we will click on open. But as well our phone has a screen lock. We are going to enter that screen lock. Anyway this email that we are using is a test email. That is a test email, we click here on continue. Now here it will ask you for what the password is, add the password. As I had added it well it has already given us access. As we can see here it gives us the global location of Google map where we are and where that device is. 
As we have it here then what this is what we're going to do here we have, uh, this is an A05 device. The one that's locked, this is an A25, this A25 is locked. We can see A25 A05 as I have added it here that screen lock. As we can say the email here is the email here is my phone. I have added it in Gmail, I added them well, what are we going to do go as? We can see here we have this location, that location we are going to click. On that location we are going to give the first one that appears here we click on it. And then it will locate us. It will locate us, this locates our phone. But we want to locate the phone that is locked which is this one. The A25, this is the phone. Here as we can see the phone has already appeared, what am I going to do now? Well, what we are going to do now is something that we well are going. To locate these phones here we are going to locate it and we are going to locate this other one, we are going to locate it here in a separate part. Here we are going to click, well. We are going to block it, we are going to block it, ready. Uh, what are we going to do? Well, as we had told you. We have already located this one which is the A25. The A25 which is this one, we have it here, here I am going to send a sound. What is the important thing that the devices have to have, I will explain to you. The important thing that the devices have to have is this location. The phones always have this location activated. That is to have the location active, most of the phones will always have it active. Only we deactivate it, we will go down here. We will go down, we have the location. We have that location, what the phone has to have too. It has to have internet, it has to have internet, if it doesn't have internet. Then what you have to do is insert a SIM card with data. We insert a SIM card with data, it will immediately have internet. It has the location, it will give you full access. Once we have both the internet, we have the location activated. Then we are going to send one. We are going to send what it is. We are going to send a sound here, we are going to click on it. As you can see the phone is ringing. Phone is ringing. Phone was ringing, here we go down. Ready, here we can see that it appears here. Here it appears in Google, EH find my device. As you can see here an option appears, this would be the first message. Send a notification, here we have the security to be able to send. We will be able to send here, we will click here where it says Galaxy. Security, here we can write anything. Things here a phone number, but it does not matter, this is optional. We click here, here we write any message suddenly also any message. Hello. Ready, now we are going to click on send, now we are going to turn on the phone here. As you can see here this EH also allows those people who have a lost phone to be able to write any text. It also works for anyone who wants to recover their phone, they will be able to write any text. Now and they will be able to make a call, if that has internet. Then I am going to make a video tutorial on how to recover your device easily and quickly. But we will leave you what a video tutorial is in the description of the video. If it is not yet, well, we will be publishing that video in the member community. Since we have all this, then the next thing would be to go here in this little nut. We are going to select this little nut that appears here. 
Here we will see here to reset our Galaxy A25. 5G which would be this one that appears here and we are going to click here where it says factory reset. We are going to turn it on, we click here on reset here we will be able to confirm. We will be able to confirm, it is already doing. As you can see here our phone is being reset and we are not using any PC. None, none, we have not touched the phone at all. In this way our phone is going to be reset. No matter the screen lock that our device has. This is normal that since EH with our Google account both synchronized we can do many things. But if you want to learn many more things well I recommend you subscribe to our channel so that you can learn many more things from us and also EH how you can support us join our community as a member of the YouTube channel also be active with the bell activated we will continue to mount better tutorials. We will also explain EH how well we have other methods that we will be leaving in the description of the video or in the first fixed comment. We will wait for our device to be all ready we can remove it, we can remove it. We can leave this and we will pause the video. Tutorial while our device starts. Well here our device has already reset. It has started, now what we have to do now is to be able to configure it. But we always have an account from Google. But since you know what a Gmail account is, now what you have to do is connect to a Wi-Fi network and add that Gmail account. The same one we had on the same phone. That's the same one we're going to add here on this phone. We add the Gmail account and the password, that would be all for this video tutorial. But if, but if you don't know, EH, but if you did, this process worked out 100% for you, the rest is easier. You know, subscribe, leave a good comment, share, like, and tell us what you thought of this video tutorial.